I'm Johnny, and this is my North Beach. Hey, you, come here. No, not here. Look at this, what I made. Cannelloni with a spinach and ricotta stuff, and I can't wait to eat it. You'll be excited when you make it too. So let me show you how to do it. So I knew it was a special Sunday in our house in Northern Jersey when I was growing up when my mother went uh, into her pantry and she pulled out this cast iron pan. My sister Rose and I knew when she took this pan out on Sunday, it was gonna be a special pasta dish. She was gonna make crispelli, crepes, and uh, she was gonna use those to make a cannelloni baked in the oven. Let me show you what we're gonna use to do this. A cup of flour, two eggs, a cup and a quarter of milk, and about a quarter of a teaspoon of salt. Okay, I'm gonna, here are my two eggs. I'm just gonna get them in the bowl here and uh, beat them gently before I add the other ingredients. Then I'm gonna add my cup of flour. And then, now that the cup's empty, I'm gonna add my cup and a quarter of milk. And just a little bit of salt. So you can see now that I'm about at the right consistency. So what I'm gonna do is turn the, uh, the flame onto high because one of the tricks to making crepes is that you always want a hot pan. So I'm gonna give this a second or two to heat up. And in the meantime, I'm just gonna give it a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. And I'm gonna make a, a little brushing pad out of this paper towel so that as I'm making the crepes, I could always make sure that there's a thin coating of oil. My sister Rose reminded me the other day that, you know, usually the first couple, they don't work. So let's see if we get lucky today. So just pour a little bit of the batter in there and just keep rotating the pan this way. When it stops moving, I'm gonna put it back up on the heat. See, seasoned pan well-oiled, it's not sticking. And as soon as I see this uh, firming up here, I'm gonna flip it over. So just bring your spatula in the middle of it, pick it up, and over. And I've got some here that I started to make a little bit earlier, so we'll just add this one right on top. So this is a pound of 15 ounces of uh, ricotta. So I'm gonna put that right in our bowl. To that, I'm gonna add an egg. Parmesan, and we're gonna use Parmesan inside the crepe and on top. We're gonna to use a little salt and pepper. A little bit of nutmeg goes a long way. I'm going to freshly grate this. It's a very uh, strong flavor, so don't use a lot of it. I use fresh spinach. If you don't have time to cook down your own, you can get frozen chopped spinach. And this is pretty tender, so I'm going to just go this way once, and then this way. So I'm just going to break the uh, ricotta up and the egg. And now we're ready to add this, the spinach and combine it all. So that's pretty good color. We got the ricotta there to kind of balance it off. I made some of uh, my San Marzano tomato, canned tomato, and basil sauce. I'm gonna line the bottom of the baking dish. So let me lay out a couple of these crispelli for you. And then just uh, roll them up. Lay them in. So now I'm just gonna take some of the uh, marinata sauce and put a little bit over the top of each one of these crust belly. A little bit down this way. And down this way. And then I took some of that uh, fresh uh, mozzarella and I just grated it up. We're just gonna put a light coating on top of these. This Parmigiana is really gonna help give us a golden top to the casserole. And we're just gonna stick these in the oven. We open it 
it up. Oh, my own I made. They look beautiful. Look at this. Oh, I can't wait to eat these. But you gotta let them cool for a little bit first. So I uh, rolled up some fresh basil and cut it uh, really thinly in a chiffonade that adds some freshness to it. Let me take a nice, big, fat piece of this. Mm, 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 mm. Brings me back to uh, Bloomfield, New Jersey. Where's my mother's cast iron pan? These crust belly, these cannelloni. Absolutely delicious. A moist spinach and ricotta filling, crispness and down the top, the melted mozzarella, the fresh basil. Excuse me, I have another bite. You fend for yourself. Crisp belly cannelloni, the finished bacon because I'm hungry, but I think they're ready to come out, so let's see what we got over here. It's kind of ready. What happened?